So, my name is Jacob. I'm from Overmind. Um, a little bit about myself. Yeah, I'm from the United States and um, I got into just a high overview. It's like I, I came from like building, um, back when I was 12, I built a game, like uh, built a version of RuneScape at the time because all my cousins were involved in that. So we built like a version that was called like a RuneScape private server where we would just all play around. And ever since, you know, I was 12, I started moving from, not everybody really played games then. So, you know, I would move from just um, playing games to being, building something that was uh, generally more globally uh, acceptable, which is like websites and apps. And then during that age is uh, when I started like moving up and the web, like the internet started booming more. Um, websites started to progress a little bit more and then apps started to become extremely big with iOS and Android and it started blowing up. So I've been building apps and uh, things like that and then I think like everybody inside of Web3, um, what happened is, is like you have a friend that tells you about Web3 and then you're like, yeah, yeah, of course everybody, you know, everybody knows about Web3. And then over like 12 months, it takes like 12 months for that to kick in and then you're like, all right, sure, one night I'll look at it. So then I looked at it one night and I was like, I was like, yeah, actually, from a technical standpoint, there's a lot of things that, that, that is really clear here and that is really revolutionary. And then ever since then, I've been building a lot of things inside of Web3 and Overmind specifically is catering towards people who are, um, you want to prove your credentials and prove what you can do inside of Web3, right? So currently, right now, you don't really know. Everybody wants the, um, everybody has like a pseudonym or something that they go by, but you don't really know what somebody can do and what, what they're capable of. But we want to keep that still the anonymity um, to the users. So with Overmind, we're allowing people to you know solve and show their credentials and show what they actually can do um, via you know an NFT or something. They come on, they can prove that. Let's say if you can code a blockchain or you can code a smart contract or you can execute in a certain way that you can prove this on chain. And with this Overmind, the certificate and this soul bounding certificate, now you have something that you can prove anyway. If you go to a, your next interview, you can use an Overmind certificate. Right? These people know you can skip the first three steps of your interviewing process because they know you can do what you say you can do. So that's a little bit about me and a little bit about what we're building. Yeah, so Aptos, we see, we, we love emerging markets um, and Aptos is the biggest thing and we, if you really dig down deep into move the language and um, how, how crypto and everything has evolved over the last couple of years, um, there's been some flaws and some things that have been um, exposed and um, the evolution of technology um, starts to push forward and, and move in um, creating a secure programming language and something that allows the next billion people to be onboarded into crypto. Um, that's where our focus is at. So we believe that Move is going to be that Move is going to be that platform. Move is going to be that uh, that programming language that does that, and we're making a bet on it. And yeah, that's the reason. I'll scale down a little bit even more so we, we don't go too broad. Um, but the next the next couple months, so um, the next couple months we're we're looking to launch a beta and actually show people because um, if you if you think about it, you know, there's there's a couple of different steps that go there, right? Um, you can have provability and you can have verifiable credentials on chain, but the question is is who's actually going to use those verifiable credentials, right? So you need to have a platform and you need to have an ecosystem of the network of people that actually use those verifiable credentials. So our next step is um, on the transitioning to to Aptos specifically launching to their mainnet. Um, our, our next push is going to be actually using those those credentials to do something. So over the next couple of months, you'll start to hear about Overmind and, and what we're going to do, and you'll be able to hear about something that you can you can prove your skill set, right? And then the next hacker house or the next hackathon that you that you go to, you'll be able to claim something that you did something on Move. You can actually program a smart contract. You can do this, right? And our next couple of months is we plan on uh, people to be able to be hired via Overmind or do something where they can push their next. Uh, you know their next job interviews they can just expedite their process because they can see that this is where they're going or maybe you know yeah just show their show their capabilities on chain so that's where we're going over the next couple months yeah so we're not really bounding to like you know us and all these other places so usually um we're following um kind of following the lead on where aptos is going with their hacker houses and things of that nature um so we're, we're kind of going to push towards um all of the aptos centric things so one of the biggest things that we can do is we can we have the infrastructure, we have the capabilities of allowing people to prove their credentials and prove what they can do, um, but we need to push out the network, right? We talked about the network off, uh, a little bit ago, and the network is almost as valuable as being able to prove your credentials and prove what you can do because you need to be able to use it somewhere, right? So um, our, our main push is to be able to, wherever Aptos is going to be, wherever um, the chains that we're building on are going to be, we're going to be there with them, right? So allowing, you know, 
if a hacker house is built here, you know, if we were ready in the next couple months, you know, something would be here as we would present, we would say, listen, you know, um, if you're just moving, if you're just learning move or you're just learning um, the Aptos ecosystem, here's a puzzle, here's something for you to solve and here's a certificate that you can get that is only verifiable or only given out to a certain set of people during a time span, right? So like, unlike a couple other um, projects and things like that, you can only ever earn these things during that exact moment. There's only a, a window where you can actually um, have a puzzle that's verifiable and you completed that during that exact time. After that time is over, that puzzle is never actually going to be created again. So that token, that NFT, that, that thing's going to be certificate, it's never going to be published again. It's exclusive to that one moment. I would say that there's a lot of uh, a lot of like headlines and things like that, but you got to do your own research. And you got to you got to educate yourself on exactly you know what it is for the reasons that you're going into the ecosystem, or what it is the reasons that you understand something or you believe in the something. Um, I would I would really you know encourage everybody to do their their 10 hours, 20 hours of research and really dive deep into the ecosystem to figure out why you know what is their why on why they want to be in the ecosystem.